So I'd love to talk to you in this video about what we could call the five mistakes people make in their early practice of astral projection, and particularly about just how to have an out-of-body experience. So the first one relates to the, the timings and the way we relate to these techniques. You might go online, you Google uh, top 10 astral projection techniques and, you've, and you just read something, a little sentence about uh, visualizing the rope techniques. So someone might and I did this myself many, many years ago. Kind of just go, you read this technique, you, you, you lie there in bed at night, maybe like half seven at night, you do the technique, you visualize climbing the rope, nothing really happens that much. And you feel like, oh my God, I can't do astral projection. I tried one of the techniques and it failed. That isn't the way, the way to relate to these techniques. These techniques help to set the conditions whereby astral projection are more likely to arise through using your mind to move a body that isn't the physical body, as in other words, the deeper energy body. So that's the first mistake people make. Most astral projections commonly happen for most people in the early hours of the morning in those liminal states. And there's a reason for that. that there's, a, there's a secret reason for that. Second major mistake that people make is that they make they have expectations about what an astral projection experience will always be like. So they can sometimes be having these experiences but not realizing. And one of the classic things that pe is that people might expect, you know, they read an astral projection account, I came out of my body, I looked back, I saw my my partner there asleep, lying on the bed, then I walked down into the kitchen. And people that assume the things will just be appearing in a very physical way, in a very photographic way, the same as physical reality. But what can actually often happen when people are projecting in their early days, uh, or just in general, is that they can't see when you first come out of your, phys your physical body. That's very common. It's, it sometimes takes a little time uh, or time before your astral senses begin to kick in. So that's the second uh, mistake people make. <clears throat> The third mistake, this is really one of the most important things, that the third mistake people make is that they, they, we get into this instant gratification mindset in terms of astral projection. We expect it just to happen like that. We expect just that we're thinking about it or we're reading about it, things are going to happen. We forget one of the most essential things, which is to have a regular practice. If you don't have a kind of medit meditative practice, a regular practice like meditation, or Tai Chi or yoga or something that really helps you to go below the surface level of the mind into the deeper layers of the psyche. It's very unlikely that astral projection will open up for you unless maybe through past life experiences you're just naturally gifted in this. It just naturally begins to flow in a spontaneous way. And even if that's the case, you've probably done a lot of practice in past lives, which has helped you to get to the point where it happens spontaneously. So having a, not having a regular spiritual practice, daily practice of meditation, and not just 10 minutes, 20 minutes, sometimes you need to be doing up to 40 minutes plus a day to begin to have, for the effect, to begin to make a difference on your level of consciousness on, in a way that's going to help to spark off astral projection experiences. So that's the third mistake. The fourth mistake is just not to see how the different parts of the astral projection puzzle fit together, not to know how relaxation can lead to the mind awake, body asleep state, not knowing how the mind or body asleep state awake happens, how it awakens within you, how you can get into that state, not knowing how the vibrations then fit within that, not knowing how and when to do the techniques and how it all fits together. You need to know all the parts of the jigsaw in order to allow astral projection to begin to blossom and dawn for you. And the fifth mistake people make about astral projection, I have to say this, is to watch really short videos like this in a way and expect that's going to be enough. You know, just, it's not an instant satisfaction thing. You, sometimes the, the, the gratification will need to be delayed. It's like a project you need to put your mind to in a dedicated and heartfelt way for a significant amount of time and then things will begin to blossom for you and I've put in the description for this video a little link to a much more in-depth best-selling highest rated online course that I've got for astral projection where we go into all of this in a lot of depth and detail so that you can really have the meaning and the value and you can help in your journey into the amazing rewarding joyful exciting liberating world of astral projection.